graduation. Let's put ourselves in God's presence. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bow our heads and pray. All powerful and gracious God, we thank you for the graduates today who have shown themselves wise. Bless them today and bless them always. Bless their families. Enable them to bring about true and lasting justice that they may remind us and remind the world that black lives matter, brown lives matter. Continue to inspire us to be the people we should be. Watch over us each day and keep us safe and strong. Bless the graduates as they begin the next phase of their lives. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Let the church say, Amen. My name is Peace Journey Hughes. I want to first thank Ms. John T for giving me the Leadership Award. To me, being a leader is so much more than just being in charge or taking over everything. But to me, it means never giving up. The three years I have been in St. Malachi, Ms. Shanti always says that you can never run away from challenges because they'll always come right back at you. My mom inspires me to always have a positive mindset no matter what, because a negative mindset won't get you anywhere in life. Having a positive mindset and never giving up have helped me during my school years. Working hard and being optimistic helped me with being the leader I am today. It has also helped me to show my peers how to be a strong leader. Seventh grade is always the most important year for you in middle school. You are thinking about high school, grades, tests, and so much more. You can easily get frustrated, but that does not mean you give up or stop pushing yourself to do good. Most people think that when you're a leader, you can do everything you want. But it's actually harder to be a leader than to not be one. Being a leader comes with responsibilities, pressure, school, family, and so much more. One of my favorite aspects about being a leader is helping others to become a leader. A leader comes with a lot of hard work and effort, but once you, are, but once you work hard and show everyone that you are a leader, it is worth it. I think that having a positive mindset is a big factor in being a leader. Because without a positive mindset, you won't believe in yourself that you can do anything you want with hard work and effort. Thank you again to Ms. John, to my family, and everyone else who's helped me to become the person I am today. Thank you. Now I would like to introduce Marie Barnes, our salutatorian. She has shown great leadership throughout St. Malachi. She has participated in lacrosse, student council, entrepreneur, and many more. Thank you. Hello class of 2024, faculty members and teachers. We are gathered here today to finally declare that we made it. Congratulations. As Tupac once said, for every dark night, there's a brighter day. I feel as though this class can relate to this more than any other class can. We've had our good and bad days, but we always come back 100 times stronger. We've learned from our mistakes from the past and developed a good sense of judgment to prevent them in the future. As the class of 2024, we are the generation that must make a change in the world. We must take it upon ourselves to notice the challenges in the world and feel an urge to stand up and demand change. We have to come together and be the difference in the world. As a salutatorian, I'm using my platform to spread awareness about what's going on in today's society. As a predominantly black audience, it's our responsibility to notice how people of color are being treated. In the world today, being a person of color, the public will frame you out to be something that you're not. Some things that we are portrayed to be are criminals, thirst to society, thugs, and the list goes on and on. But what I want to ask you is that going forward, what change will you make to stop the cycle? Will you protest and demand your voice be heard? Will you raise money for a good cause? Will you leave kind words to the community? All of these actions can result in change, but in order to make a change in the world, we have to start with ourselves. To prepare for a brighter day, we should think about what our ancestors did to demand change and what we should do to see changes peacefully and effectively. We should go throughout this journey by referring back to these norms. Act, listen, watch, read, and pray. We can act by signing petitions, joining protests, and vote. 
All of these can result in spreading awareness. We can listen by tuning into podcasts, listening to other stories, put ourselves in their shoes. We could watch documentaries. This will educate us about what's going on in today's society. We can read. This is the most traditional way to expand our knowledge. And lastly, we can pray. Pray that we can make a difference. Pray that we will make a change. Pray that there will be brighter days. We might not realize it now, but by all of us contributing to making the world a better place, we could inspire many more generations to come. We could be the uprising of a brighter day. When you leave today, think about what impact you want to leave on the world and how you will accomplish it. How will we, will we prepare for these dark nights to be over to display the brighter days? Now the part you have been waiting for, presentations of the class by Ms. Jaunty, and then we'll finish off with our valedictorian, Mia Davis. Thank you. Thank you, Nairi. It is my pleasure and my honor to present to you the class of 2020, St. Malachi. First, Donnell Anderson. Donnell Anderson will be attending Oak Park River Forest High School. He will be receiving the JCB Family Scholarship. Donnell's accolades include basketball and lacrosse. Donnell discovered he was good with young children during a buddy day with kindergarten. He will miss his classmates and his caring teachers. Our salutatorian, Nairi Barnes. Nairi Barnes will be attending St. Ignatius College Prep. Nairi is receiving the Daniel Murphy Fund Scholarship and the JCB Leadership Scholarship. Nairi's accolades include Mathmania, Perfect Attendance, Grow Your Voice, Lacrosse, Student Council, Entrepreneur Club, and Chicago Lights Tutoring. Nairi has demonstrated that you can do anything with hard work and dedication. She will miss our small environment. Derek Brooks. Derek will be attending Providence St. Mel. Derek is receiving the Owl Scholarship. Derek's accolades include basketball, lacrosse, and Chicago's Lights tutoring. Derek was always available to help when needed. He will miss the fun he had playing basketball with his friends and getting a laugh to start the day at breakfast. Shamari Cobbins. Shamari will be attending Christ the King Jesuit College Prep. Shamari will be receiving the JCB Family Scholarship. Shamari's accolades include Grow Your Voice, Free to Win, and Chicago Lights Tutoring. Shamari is proud that she was in charge of taking attendance. She will miss all of our teachers and the patience they had with her. Jayla Coakley. Jayla Coakley will be attending UIC College Prep. Nia Davis, our valedictorian. Nia will be attending St. Ignatius College Prep. Nia is receiving the Daniel Murphy Fund Scholarship and the Donald F. Rowe Scholarship. Nia's accolades include perfect attendance and punctuality, math mania, free to win, spelling bee, talent show, lacrosse, volleyball, student council, choir, entrepreneur club, gospel choir, Mercy Home Mentoring, and Sparks. Nia believes St. Malachi opened up a strong inner person 
she didn't know she had that could be handled that can handle challenges. She will miss the class of 2020. Tajaya Diggs. Tajaya will be attending DRW College Prep. Tajaya's accolades include Grow Your Voice, Perfect Attendance, Math Mania, Girls on the Run, Student Council, Entrepreneur Club, Mercy Home Mentoring, and Chicago Lights Tutoring. Tajaya became a leader in our choir and feels St. Malachi taught her to respect herself and her work. She will miss a lot, but especially her lunch table. Michael Fraction. Michael Fraction will be attending Holy Trinity High School. Michael will be receiving the JCB Family Scholarship. Michael's accolades include Gospel Choir. Michael was always a leader, ready to reach out to anyone in need. He will miss all the teachers who helped him succeed in eighth grade. LaParis Foy. LaParis will be attending NLCP Collins High School. LaParis's accolades include volleyball and Mercy Home tutoring. LaParis believes St. Malachi has helped her overcome smaller things and see all the opportunities there are in the world. She will miss the help and the motivation from our staff. Emmett Grant. Emmett will be attending Mount Carmel High School. Emmett is receiving the Owls Lacrosse Scholarship. Emmett's accolades include lacrosse, basketball, gospel choir, student council, entrepreneur club, Chicago Lights tutoring, math mania, and perfect attendance. Emmett worked hard as the Vice President of Student Council. He will miss his teachers at St. Malachi. Peace Journey Hughes Academics Honors Award Peace Journey will be attending, hopefully, Whitney Young Magnet High School. Peace Journey will be receiving the JCB Family Scholarship Peace Journey's accolades include Grow Your Voice, Read to Win, Student Council, and Entrepreneur Club. Peace Journey, Peace Journey is responsible for starting our student council. She will miss that everyone was there for each other like a family. Tyra Jenkins. Tyra Jenkins will be attending UIC College Prep. Tyra's accolades include Grow Your Voice, Perfect Attendance, Basketball, Lacrosse, Volleyball, Student Council, Entrepreneur Club, and Chicago Lights Tutoring. Tyra is proud that as class president of the Student Council, she brought peace, joy, and liberty to our school. She will miss the fun she had with her classmates and teachers. Anaya Love. Anaya will be attending UIC College Prep. Anaya's accolades include Volleyball, Entrepreneur, Mercy Club, and Mercy Home Tutoring. Anaya was a leader at St. Malachi and is happy she could help others and herself. Jalea Maddox. Jalea Maddox will be attending Oak Park River Forest High School. Jalea will be receiving the JCB Family Scholarship. Jalea's accolades include Grow Your Voice, Spelling Bee, Lacrosse, Volleyball, Student Council, and Gospel Choir. Jalea feels she's learned perseverance. 
She believes that St. Malachi has prepared her for the transition to high school. Tamaya McClure. Sahara Penson. Sahara will be attending De La Salle. Sahara will be att att getting the JCB Family Scholarship. Sahara's accolades include lacrosse, volleyball, girls on the run, student council, entrepreneur club, gospel choir, mercy home mentoring, and Chicago's Lights tutoring. Sahara remembers a skit she did in third grade that encouraged her to do skits more often. She will miss all of our special programs. Maya Pipes. Maya will be attending DRW College Prep. Maya's accolades include lacrosse, girls on the run, student council, entrepreneur club, and gospel choir. Maya will miss everything about St. Malachi and feels her class made the best memories in the world. Amir Russell. Amir will be attending Noble Street College Prep. Amir's accolades include lacrosse and basketball. Amir has learned to respect himself and others and feel he has modeled that to a younger students. He will miss our annual Olympics field day. Kayla Sanders. Kayla will be attending UYC College Prep. Kayla's accolades include perfect attendance, talent show, and volleyball. Kayla says she has learned to socialize more respectfully, reach her reading goals, and push herself harder in math. She will miss her classmates and teachers. David Villagran. David will be attending Bonita Juarez Community Academy. Anaya Scales. Anaya will be attending UYC College Prep. Anaya's accolades include Mathmania Award, Student of the Month, Entrepreneur Club, and Stock Market. Anaya enjoyed being challenged to do her best every day and appreciated the support she received. Kamora Wheeler. Kamora will be attending Ogden International Academy. Kamora was proud of her responsibility to dismiss the sixth grade class and help her develop her leadership skills. She will miss her helpful teachers. Jamion Wright. Jamion will be attending Roe Clark Math and Science Academy. Congratulations to the class of 2020, St. Malachi. You did it. trouble when I get home. My seven-year-old sister, Camille Davis, who's pushed me this far to be standing at this podium today. As we're giving greetings, I would like to say hello to Patrick Dwyer, our principal, Winnie Stevenson, our vice principal, Zamaria Johnson, the dean of culture, Father Matt, our pastor, our hard-working staff and teachers, 
our hardworking family members and friends who are watching this ceremony today. And who could forget the graduates of 2020? A virtual round of applause, please. <laughs> now, looking back to about the first day of school, I definitely wasn't expecting this. I don't know about your plans, but they definitely weren't in mind. We walked in Ms. Johnson's class on the first day, all with fresh new hairstyles, shoes, and even uniforms to impress. If you don't remember those first day photos your mom took of you on the first day of school, you need to scroll all the way back down to your camera roll. And let's hope it didn't meet the trash can, right, eighth grade? Young, intelligent minds coming out of their blossoming seventh grade habits to become more mature leaders. But boy, did 2020 really push us to the max when it came to leadership. Now, as Albert Einstein once said, in the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. But little did we know, it'd be the type of difficulty of someone playing Jumanji while bored. The reason why I'm sharing our accomplishments through a screen instead of in person right now. I've heard all types of frustrations from my community, from being in quarantine with your parents, to a giant Asian hornets, really, to if I get another Google Classroom notification, and I don't get to see my baby walk across that stage. But if there's one thing I want to say to you all in the beginning of my speech, I want you all to know, and the best way to predict the future is by creating it. A quote by Abraham Lincoln. determination, creativity, willpower, knowledge, and ourselves all of the years before this one. We knew what we had to do. We just weren't given a time and date. And the truth is, there should never be a deadline for your success. A quote that I learned from my teacher, Ms. Shanti. Patience is key. And well, we're here, 2020. What has the eighth grade class done to shine? Well, we're here graduating, aren't we? I spent so much time at this school, it feels as if I live here. But if I lived in my class, it'd definitely be a reality TV show. Because when I tell you that this class is like no other, I'm not exaggerating. I will never find an eighth grade class like this ever again in my life. There has been times that I went to school with a frown on my face, but as soon as I stepped into the homeroom, that immediately turned upside down. I specifically remember the trip to Maggie Daly Park. And Lord knows that our eighth grade class knows that that trip was more chaotic than a rare afternoon we spent playing Uno and after school. Now, a normal field trip with your class to a park doesn't sound challenging at all, right? What's the big deal about it? It's fun. Oh, there definitely was a big deal about it. We had to have an individual from our buddy class, the kindergartners, to chaperone on the trip. 
Now at first, my reaction was, oh, that'd be easy. My mom babysits my sister all the time. It's no biggie. The people around the park will see me babysitting my sister, and then they'll ask me to babysit their kids. Well, hopefully not. But that reaction did change quickly though. I was placing my sister Camille Davis. It seemed as if it was such an easy choice to pick her out of the crowd. But when I think about the decisions I made, I wonder what I could have done differently and how it would go. As everyone always has a point of reflection in life, no matter the age, a positive attitude was needed for this trip. And well, it was a day of no classes, of course we would be happy. But with so many little children running around and no adult to guide them, I realized something that I should have realized from the beginning, that we are the chaperones in this situation. Me and my class were experiencing something new, a stage that all leaders should go through in life. We should all be open-minded and willing to go out of our comfort, comfort zone, because we all know that it's necessary. It felt as if I was watching over my sister slide down those slides and swing on those swings alone. Though, as I looked to my left and my right, I realized all my friends and peers were around me, ready to guide me at any necessary point that I had. And at that day, after the field trip, I sensed a new level of maturity that day. And that's what I knew. Teamwork is thrive is what a team needs to thrive. You will always need someone to lean on, especially in these rough times that we're going through right now. As upcoming eighth graders, I want us all to be aware of the new identity that we're receiving and who we're becoming. The only place where your dreams become impossible is in your own thinking, a quote by Robert A. Schuller. There is influence all over the media on who you're supposed to be in this world, how you're supposed to act, and how you're supposed to think. Though we're stronger than that, more empowered than have been since years back. We have our own minds and thinking and we'll take a stand for it. You are your own person and you have your own motives and dreams and don't let them go to waste because every inch of it is precious just like you are. There will always be guidance for your path as it could be God, a role model, or even something else in your life. Just know that every step into this new life that you're encountering, you are alone. Keep pushing and fight for your dreams with effort. Don't matter how long it takes, it'll happen, as long as you work hard for it. I would like to leave you all off with a quote. Every great dream begins with a dreamer. Always remember, you have within you the strength, the patience, and the passion to reach for the stars and change the world. A quote from Harriet Tubman. Thank you for listening to my speech. And again, congratulations to the graduates of 2020. I wish nothing but prosperity for the class and every other that's graduated this year. As we all hold integrity, perseverance, justice, patience, kindness, bravery, and determination yet again. Congratulations, class of 2020, St. Malachi School. May you all have a big blessed day.